Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, uh, Toby and I are planning on going on a little geocaching adventure. We're going to the James Cleveland Trail, which actually has a kind of interesting story to it. So yeah, stay tuned. So this trail is pretty interesting. The history of why there's a trail here is that apparently many, many years ago, there was an airmail pilot that was uh, flying to make some kind of delivery and crashed on the top of this mountain. And they had to climb up the mountain to get to where the crash was. I guess at the top, they left behind whatever was left of this little plane. Now, I've been up here before, and there's not a lot left. I think people have like taken the little scraps of metal, but they actually do still have a little memorial up at the very top of this mountain. I'm concerned that this place is gonna be filled with ticks. Um, so we'll see how bad that is. And I know for a fact that it's very steep and there's like a, a section that's pretty much straight up. It, there's, there's switchbacks to make it a little easier, um, but it's quite treacherous to uh, climb with Toby. So we'll see how that goes. Now the other reason I wanted to come up here was I found that there are a series of geocaches right in this trail. So we're gonna see if we can find some of those. And uh, I think there's four or five of them in a row. The first four supposedly have a clue that will tell you how to find the, the last one. So we'll see how that goes. We are off-road in here. Jeez. I have no idea why my GPS took me here. But all we can do is keep going forward, I guess. Well, I got myself into a nice situation. I followed this road that the GPS took me to, and it is a complete dead end, apart from, well, okay, it's not a dead end, but there's a giant rock in the way. Obviously some Jeeps or something can make it over this, but I need to figure out how to turn around. So I'm going to do my best here. <laughs> Wish me luck. Okay, well, I just did a U-turn. <laughs> Holy moly. Just did a U-turn on this little stretch of road, like with uh, this kind of cliff on the other end. So I'm going to attempt to get out of this dead end area that I found myself in. Holy moly. Hey guys, well, uh, after an extremely sketchy drive to get here. We finally made it to the trailhead for James Cleveland Trail. So I'm gonna just get Toby attached to me here and we will get on the way. Oh, come here. Buddy, I'm going for a swim. All right, come on. Across, nice and easy. Good job. Hey guys, so I've not been having much luck with these geocaches. I've been like pretty sure that I've been at the right spot for two of them, and I just cannot find the dang container. So I'm not sure if they got moved or taken. Neither of them have been found for like over a year. So there's a good chance they're no longer here. But I did find one. This container is like a little Lego dude glued to the top. So let's see what's in it. Cute. 
here's the log book. Oh, there you go. I got this signed. And there's a clue in here. I'll try to find another place up here, but I need to find like three or four more before I have all the pieces of the clue, and I don't think I'm going to spend that much time here today. However, I'm going to see if I can drop off this travel bug. So this guy is a trackable thing that um, you can place in these geocaches and basically pick it up and take it to another one. And it's kind of neat to be able to follow along where this thing's gone. So I'm going to see if I can fit it in this little container and then I'll log that I dropped it off here and someone else can take it and take it to another geocache. Oh yeah, that fits. All right. And Cheetah is hidden for the next person. Made it. So this is the memorial for James Cleveland. And this is what's left of his airplane. Just some rusty scraps. Pieces of the plane they stacked in this memorial here. Air male pilot Jimmy Cleveland crashed here May 24th, 1931. Wow, this is May 22nd, 2021. So 90 years and two days from today. I'm impressed that people brought this big stone all the way up here. This is really steep. This thing had to be heavy. There's not a whole lot else up here. I'm not sure there's even an overlook. There might be something on this side. I did find the overlook here. Let's be careful, Toby. I'm not planning on hiking down there, but... Looks like you could. Looks like there might be a trail down there. But I don't want to go up and down this with Toby. <laughs> oh, my allergies are killing me up here. I've been sneezing like crazy. I'm gonna scare off any bears that might be up here though. Oh, um, while I was coming up, there was an older couple coming down. And uh, apparently the guy had slipped somewhere up here and he had a big gash across his head with a bandage on it. So yeah, he was anxious to get back to the bottom. It's super sketchy here. I mean, it is very steep going down. But I'm always like struggling here when I have Toby attached to my belt because he, uh, he sometimes likes to go a different speed than I'm going. Go ahead, buddy. But I don't like being unattached in case other hikers are here. But if I ever do that, it's on sec sections like this that are like rocky and slippery and uh, very steep. Where, you know, it's probably safer for both of us if we're not attached. Go ahead, bud. I have hiked this when it was icy before. And uh, that was really rough. I absolutely was detached from Toby for that hike, um, going down anyway, because he was gonna just kill me pulling me down the mountain. So if Pennsylvania is known for anything when it comes to hiking, it's rocks. 
there are rocks everywhere on just about all the trails you can find in the central PA. The Mid-State Trail, which goes all the way across the middle of the state, um, is just rocks after rocks. And the Appalachian Trail, which also goes straight across Pennsylvania. You know, everyone that I've talked to who's hiked it, you know, they, their main comment about Pennsylvania is rocks, rocks, rocks. So I just, I guess, get a little used to these rocks, but um, they take a toll on your ankles. My ankles are usually pretty sore. So I don't typically use like hiking boots that have more ankle support, which probably would help. I tend to use running shoes like trail runners, which are <clears throat> you know, what I'm most used to hiking in. But, you know, I've definitely thought about changing it up a little bit and getting some actual hiking boots. Good boy, you're thirsty. So I made it back to the truck. I'll be honest, this hike kind of sucks. It's really steep. It's been super, super buggy. And we had really bad luck finding these geocaches. I found one, but there was like four, supposedly four or five. And I'm pretty confident I was in the right spot and I looked everywhere and did not find other than one. So I don't know. They were kind of in like less remote places that maybe somebody found and just took them. And it wouldn't surprise me because the one I found, they were all left by the same person. But they were like done with the little, little Lego guys on the top of them, like on the container. And if a kid found that, they definitely probably would want to keep it. So, I don't know if they're gone or if I just was looking at the wrong space or whatever. I'm getting eaten, man. These bugs are everywhere here. Sheesh. I gotta close the door before they all get in my truck. So now, I'm going to enjoy my reward for this, which is a frozen gogurt that I had in my Yeti <laughs> cooler. And, uh... It's like just the right texture right now for my frozen yogurt. So this be my way to cool off because it is hot and buggy and gross right now. It's SpongeBob flavored, which I guess is strawberry. Well guys, thanks for watching and um, be sure to like and subscribe if you can because that really helps me out. All right, we'll see you guys next time.